Hello YouTube, fellow Miata owners. Today I took on the foamectomy uh, modification on my Miata because I wanted to gain some more uh, headroom in case I do track events, which I generally do a lot. I've never done one in a Miata. I have driven Miatas on track before, but not one I owned, I guess. Uh, anyway, so I did do the foamectomy on this and I wanted to show any interested people how much of a difference it makes because I've only done it on the passenger seat so far. And here's what I removed. This is from the bottom of the foam. Uh, so I did not go on the top side of the seat. I also took out the entire bolster from the rear of the seat, so from the back area of the seat. So I didn't cut anything for this. I literally just removed the whole thing. So I wanted to show you, and here's the broomstick test if you're familiar with track events. It is to show uh, people how much headroom you have. So let me just get situated here. I think both the seats are adjusted the same. I still have a bit of room. This is going to be really tight with a helmet. Uh, I think if I move the seat forward and uh, lean it back a touch, maybe that might help, but I'm not sure if uh, that's going to give me enough room. However, I have yet to do the driver's seat and I could pull out a bit more foam from that to help. So just to show what it sits like and how much room I've gotten from this mod, I'm sitting on the passenger side and I'm going to hop on over to the driver's side where you'll be able to see how much of a difference there is between a seat that has had its foam removed and one that hasn't. So here we are. Again, I think the seats are adjusted about the same. I could try a couple of different uh, sitting techniques, but I already feel like I'm sitting a lot higher. The other thing is the, the bolsters really feel much better and hold you in place much, much better on the passenger seat. Kind of like a Corvette, uh, like a C5 Corvette, the cabin in this car is tight enough where I feel like between the center console and the door, even if you don't have a whole lot of support, it's not like you're sliding all the way across the way you would say uh, an E36 or an E46 M3. Anyway, so let's move the broomstick over here and see how much room I have. Oh wow, it's uh, already touching the top of my hat, so you can see there's no room. It's, if I try to slouch a bit, maybe? If I slouch, but it, I mean, it's still sort of touching, so. Uh, let me try a different in position, see if that would help. Okay, so this does help a bit, uh, but I mean, I've got not even a half an inch if I play with the settings. Uh, I am concerned about sitting lower in any case for safety because as you can see my head is still close to the roll bar even if the roll bar is above me. So I think some padding is called for on the roll bar regardless of this modification. I think that should be the next thing coming forward. Uh, especially without a helmet on the street if you were to hit your head on this without any foam padding. Maybe even with. It's probably not going to be a good day. I will uh, cut the video and show you what it's like after I've modified this seat as well, but you can see the height difference. Uh, and this, this position is not super comfortable. I'd like to sit a bit more upright, which again is interfering with the, with the top of the broomstick. All right, so I have the other seats completed now. So let's do a comparison of, I guess, now before and after of the same seat. On this one, I removed just a little bit more material because I wanted it to sit slightly lower if possible. I've sat in it already and uh, it feels great. I would do this not just for the seating position, but just for the feel of support. Uh, like I said, I removed the back foam completely so you sit uh, much deeper into the seat so the bolsters effectively end up holding you in place much better. Uh, same thing with the bottom, so uh, next to your thighs there, there feels like there's a lot more support. Alright, let's sit in and see. So it seems like there's a good bit more space. I actually like the visibility out of the car better like this also. I think the, uh, the, the top of the windshield won't be as much of a problem 
when you were coming to stoplights and such, this is a pretty pretty good feeling. I think I like this. All right, so there is a little bit of room. Um, I think with the helmet, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. But this this looks good. Certainly better. I could imagine taking a position that would feel relatively safe. Uh, but roll bar padding is definitely called for. Well, there you go. I think this is a worthwhile thing to do. It's just, it, the seats feel so much better, even if it's not about the headroom. I would recommend it. Good luck to you all.